Right. I got a clock right here. Saturday, March. Come on, as we go on. 16th, 9.43 a.m. I um, got a little bit of um, interstellar soundtrack going here. Get me in the mood. I got my dog chewing on a bone that I put some peanut butter in it. And I'm going to attack this thing. <clears throat> this was a painting I copied from a photograph of a painting that was stolen. <clears throat> And uh, I'm going to now change it to make it my own. I really, really don't like this painting. The more, more I look at it. I mean, I've, I've spent maybe seven, six or seven painting sessions on already to get it here. And now I'm going to mess it up. Um, yesterday I went to the art store. And the first time in maybe 20 or 30 years I bought brushes. So this is kind of exciting. I, I, got, a, I got these little guys. These are pretty fine. Like these ones are super fine. Super fine. Look at that. Can you, can you see how small they are? I'll put my, I was going to put my thumb, but it's not a good. Egg. So I'll put my middle finger next to the brush heads so you can see how thin they are. Oh, this one has a little plastic on it too. Anyhow, so my thought is I'm going to go in and uh, maybe I, this is kind of interesting. This brush, this brush I found. Normally, flat brushes, I think of it like this. They're kind of like rounded. But this one here is perfectly flat. Look at that. That's kind of a. Uh, let me try to roll them at the same time. Look at that. Oh, perfectly flat this thing is so it's gonna make very flat brush strokes this painting is actually now dry all right so I just couldn't bear to live with copying someone else's painting and so now I'm gonna screw it up not screw it up I'm gonna go and just do my own version of it so first thing that just has been bugging me for a long time is I want to make these things flaming. I'm going to add some thickness to this painting. I'm going to add some, I'm going to add some, uh, just my own stuff. Where's my water? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to add a little bit of abstraction. I don't like all these, I really don't like these swirly, these black little splotches this guy's done. A.Y. Jackson, I think it was. I just don't like it. So I'm going to go in. <clears throat> I've been wanting to do this for a while. Every time I look at this painting, I go, ugh, that's a goddamn ugly painting. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to mess it up. Just add my own little things and stuff. It's going to be so much better than this stinky puppet cow heap. So maybe I'll put, I'll put grass here? No, may, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the bottom. But what I do want to do is I want to add... Good morning. <coughs> Rivienda, no pale italiano. Rivienda always said stuff. But uh, I can't... This doesn't translate, so I don't know what it means. Someone who speaks Italian can maybe tell me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try doing like just like my own little abstract little bits of color in here. I always like this. This is the only thing about this painting I liked was this little thing down here. Okay, so maybe <clears throat> maybe I'm gonna add bit more of this green bring the green along this whole orange has got to go oh I hate you I hate you so much orange and I don't know what the hell those those things were oh this feels so good this is what I should have done a long time ago gotten rid of 
Maybe browns. I think I'm gonna add browns in proper browns. Do I even have browns? <clears throat> this looks like a brown. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna turn up the music a bit. It's so quiet, you can't even hear it. There we go. <clears throat> So maybe not quite this brown, maybe a bit of add some red. Oh, come on, red. I need you. Yeah, let's see what kind of color this does. Wow, that's a purple. How did that get to be purple? Let's see. Scoop up some brown, add some white. Alright, first thing I do is I'm gonna destroy <clears throat> the silly, silly bullshit you did. I'm talking to A.Y. Jackson. What the hell were you thinking? That was a like goofy ass painting. I'm gonna make it better. You fucked it up, didn't you, A.Y. Jackson? With all your goofy little marks. Like, how about, I think it should be kind of more red. I think, okay, I'm gonna bring some colors in here. I think it'd be look good better. If I, has, if I was going to have red, I'd have it up here, like on there. If you're going to have red, cut light, let me put some light in here. I'm going to get rid of that. Now bring some dark browns in here, proper browns. And then, I don't know, maybe even blues and browns. How about that? Oh, yeah, the sky. This whole sky is a steaming pile of junk. <clears throat> so I'm going to make it better. I'm going to make it better. Much better. I'm going to make it so much better. A.Y. Jackson. With your crappy sky you made. Why don't I do something like this? Add some little... Watch this. Oh, this, maybe I need a new brush to it. No, fuck it, I'm gonna be lazy. I'm just gonna put, I can't see it so much. It's a uh, light blinding me a bit. Okay, I don't like that color, that's not what I wanted. Oh well, I'll make it better in just a minute. You worry about a thing. I'm gonna make this guy way better than that A.Y. Jackson pile of junk. Pile of junk it was, I tell you. So maybe this brush is so small. It's not picking up this big brush looks so long, but that's okay. Why don't I put a bit of light in the sky coming from down here? Hey, what do you think of that, A.Y. Jackson? You never thought of that, did you? You didn't think of that. Huh. I did. You're so fancy, Mr. Corpus 7. Let's even put, how about even put a little bit of yellow orange? Yeah. Let's try this. Come on. Put a bit of color in the sky, motherfucker. Hmm. <clears throat> Get a bit more temperature going in there. Happy clouds, happy clouds. <clears throat> okay. What about... Yeah, let's take a bit of that orange I was just doing and bring it. Ooh, look at that. Hello. Hello, interesting colors. Really stupid beads of light. They're stupid. 
What the hell were you thinking, Awad Jackson? You weren't, were you? You were just... Oh, that's... I, I, I'm going to fix that. Oh, no. I'm not too crazy about that, actually. The more I did that. Let's just put a, some really blue action back up here. Okay, let's go back to uh, getting some texture in the sky. <laughs> See, you can't just like. All right, now, Mr. A. Y. Jackson, we're gonna fuck it up. We're gonna mess this up. <clears throat> Cause your painting sucked. This painting was so horrible. I hated every second of doing it. It's like there's just goofy marks that didn't make sense. Like all down here, you're gone. You're gone. Silly. Silliness. I'm gonna make it. I gotta make it better now. So, why do they have these little grass? Weird bits of grass growing. Let's just throw some more grass then. If you want to have grass, fine. I'll give you some more grass. Let's give you layers of grass. Let's see what happens if I do that. Like over here, why don't I just try? So silly, Mr. A.Y. Jackson, with your silly little brush strokes. His brush strokes honestly were goofy. If you just looked at it, they were just silly. I'm gonna take the thing that you started, Jackson, and I'm gonna make it better. I am going to make your silly thing better. There's nothing you can do about it. Yes, I'm using what I think. Some coffee. Oh, some more text. Let the grass flow. Smart, and if you don't know me, the way I operate, I'm a very simple person. I'll always do the opposite of someone 
when someone like I, um, I'm so incredibly stubborn to the point where it's incredibly predictable. If you don't want me to do something, suggest the opposite. I have the anti-authoritarian streak in me so strong that as soon as someone says, hey, add some orange, I'm like, fuck that. I'm never putting orange in again. <laughs> I mean, half of it, I just do it because it makes me laugh. But, um, yeah. Make the grass flow. I'm not making a fucking grass flow. Fuck that. <laughs> And also, you can't take myself, can't take what I say seriously, because I literally, I'm just messing around 99% of the time. I'm just talking shit. It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm painting. It's just blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go in and fix all those things that were bugging me before. All right, so... Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Let the grass flow. Let the grass flow. No, I'm not going to let the grass flow. I'm going to fucking burn it to the ground. What if I just had blues and purples? Yeah, let's do this. And I'm going to change the color of those trees. This whole area needs to be darker. What a dumbass this A.Y. Jackson guy was. Making kind of happy about this little brush because it's going to make brush strokes that I haven't really done in a while, which are these sort of flat little strange shaped things. I'm going to just let it. This reminds me of a bunch of paintings I did a long time ago. I did a bunch of paintings where there are lots of movement of colors. Here, let me show you. Let me show you this painting. I did a bunch of paintings a while ago. So let me go to my desktop, my desktop view. I'm going to open up a browser. I'm going to go to my website. And I'll show you what this is. My painting currently is looking a bit like. I'm going to go to gallery. I'm going to go to archives. And it was something dark psyche. Yes, dark psyche. So this is a while ago. Dark psyche. I remember there's one about being, it's called, is this politically correct? Is that in here? Yeah, this one. So for example, I go here. Let me open it up. Is this, so if you look here, I'm going to try zooming in. If you look at the brush strokes, this was a uh, watercolor. Uh, except the, these two characters and this woman and this little hand is a cutout from a magazine. The rest is a painting. But if you see the patterns, I don't know. I really like the patterns in this one. I don't think I've shown this to anybody before. Let me, hey, oh yeah. If you go and you look at the patterns, aren't they nice? There's some really beautiful little, this is all watercolor, so just patterns that flow and change. So when you said, let the grass flow, I was thinking about this one. So there's like dots and circles and shapes, and then you come over here and there's like little dashes and bigger blurbs and it comes down and this, see little spiky bits down here? These were inspired by one of my favorite artists called Ode de Leon Rodin. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I have over here somewhere, on my computer. Oh, come on. Is it to do it? Where'd it go? If I could show you, it's kind of neat. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to go to Odile Rodin and I'll show you what I'm talking about. How do I, uh... I'm sure in one of these paintings he did. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Fuck. Check this out. How to make this thing bigger. Can, can I just pull it and then pull it? There we go. Okay. Look. Look at this. See these little sp this shape with little dots on it? I got that from Odile Rodin. 
years and years ago, like when I was like 13 or no, 14 or 15 years old, I was started getting into Rodin. See, he does these little cool little spike things. So I kind of stole that idea of these shapes. Maybe I'll add them in here. See these little spiky little things? There's more spiky little things. Yeah, see them in there? Okay. So that's what these little guys were. There we go. Okay. Let's go back to the top. Okay. So, so Martin, when you were talking about little flows, that's kind of what maybe I'll, I'm kind of doing. I haven't done that. Oh, shit. I did that. When did I do that? I probably did the, that painting 1993 or 94. So I was like my early 20s. And that's kind of the mood. That's kind of what I want to do more is I don't want to do representational stuff. Even though I know most people like representational stuff. <clears throat> so rep representational is a type of art where the subject matter is, let's just say it, it's more realistic. It represents what you think it would be. So if it's a car, it would look like a car. I have a personal preference for something along the lines of post-impressionism which was uh, the kind of stuff that Van Gogh did. I'm not a huge fan of Impressionism directly. I think it's a bit too fluffy, but uh, post-impressionist style I'm kind of into. I'm also into Expressionism. Uh, so you might get stuff like German Expressionism. Um, And I love to do abstract art, but the problem with abstract art is it's already been done a billion and billion and billion times. So I'll, I'm not sure what you're, you're like in this modern day and age accomplishing other than doing some, some pictures that might go nice above a fireplace, right? So that's kind of my challenge. Like in fact, I was, I was either gonna go do this 93 is what the caption said. Oh, yeah. Did it say 93? Yeah, so it's 23. 22 or 23 and 93. Okay. I almost was going to do... Okay, I have an idea for like an abstract landscape kind of idea. It's simple. A horizon line with a little sliver of light coming out. Kind of like that Tempest one I did. I don't know where I put it. Maybe it's upstairs. Anyhow. But the rest is all dark except for just a little bit of streaks of color coming out and it's just like like you know like a mark roth goes very simple just like that the problem is i'm 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 a hundred years to to goddamn late so that everything i'm doing right now has just already been done before so it's kind of uh a little bit demoralizing because you know imagine how exciting it would be if, if no one had done anything like this before how that would be just you know I'm definitely not a fan. I think, with at least where I grew up, when I grew up, you know, we had learned about all the different styles of, of, of art and painting. And, uh, you know, where, where I kind of thought the art that I was not interesting is when I started learning about Dadaism, which is sort of like the idea of something, it's meaningless and it's pointless. And also conceptual art is mostly bullshit. And I was talking about performance art. I just don't get into it. I think it's, it's, it's just a bunch of mental masturbation and a bunch of pretentious people who, who feel superior. So I can't get into that. I'm kind of stuck in, in the idea of like there's masters. And I like painters. And there's only a few masters that I would consider. So... Van Gogh is a master just because almost everything he touched was just gorgeous. And also Lucien Freud, as a figurative painter, was a master. That guy was really good. What, what is old is new. Yeah. So so my philosophy right now is, ah, fuck it. I'm just going to go and, and just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I have a bunch of ideas for different stuff, but just one thing at a time, Josh. Well, I'm gonna go in here and just I don't know this may 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 look worse may look better I just want to blow it out okay so the problem 
I've never done this before. I've never converted a painting to mine before. The problem is, it's already a composition. I probably would not have done this. No, I wouldn't have done this composition. I think it's kind of a lumpy ass fucking composition. But maybe I'll just totally. Maybe I'll just totally. Totally change it. Where's that? Oh, yeah, the painting behind me. This one here. Started it the other day. I don't know if you can see it. This is like a sky, and it feels, the more I look at it, the more it feels like a hokey, feels like very cheesy. So I'm not sure what to do with that because it just. Looks might be too silly. Oops, I don't like that. Where's that other new brush? Okay, let's. Oh, did I get two? Oh, I got two. I got another little. Look at this little baby brush. So here's my thumb. Wait, where's the camera? Look how cute that little guy is. He's so tiny. So I'm going to go and add some texture. It's probably too light. Add some texture to these leaves up here. I like this part of the song. It reminds me of the Lord of the Rings soundtrack a bit. You are talented. Do not scrape your talent. Think about this. No one has actually done what you already. Well, here's the thing. I'm also super, super confident. So I'm not, I'm not lacking confidence at all, at all. I always thought it was like really good from a young age, but I appreciate it. It's not, it's not how I feel. It's, it's how the world feels. I think, like, I could do something that I think is freaking amazing and stuff, but it's been done before, and also. There are so many talents of people out there, which you can just like, just that's where that's the hard part. Well, that's not the hard part. It's just that there are so many talented people out there in so many different areas. So it's more than talent. It's like, it's, it's like, there's a bit of soul you have to have. And also too, like, what is the, what is it that you're doing that's, like, is it meaningful? I, like everything I'm doing, I'm trying to have honesty with myself about. And I find that there's a lot of art that I think is bullshit. Like they're very talented, but it's bullshit. Like for example, anyone who just does pictures of, of, of naked chicks and it's sex and and or or you're mixing like children and and death and like you know you're just going for shock value that's just like fuck off already like it's just you know the average person i guess i what i would want to appeal is i want to appeal to like not an average person but like a human like i want to connect on at a human level without the whole pretentious side of it just like straight up kind of like i think this is what the appeal of shakespeare was like, I don't know if you know this, and I'll be honest, I don't even like Shakespeare. It pisses me off, because I don't want to have to fucking study just to understand what one sentence is. I studied Shakespeare in high school, and I freaking hated it, because it was just like, you know, it was not accessible. And you had to refer to, like, almost like a translation book, just to understand, like, basic stuff. And I get that his writing was brilliant, 
for his time and, and the way he did it and the juxtaposition of words and stuff. But you know what? It was not accessible. So, but my point is, with Shakespeare, his stuff was accessible to the people at the time. Like he, it was, it was literally like almost WWF. It was not highbrow at all. He was like talking to like the common folks with his his. Uh, he was speaking in a language that the common folks got and understood and appreciated. So I think that's more. Yeah, I like that that idea more. Paint like Shakespeare would have spoken. That would be that's my new my new idea. So I I have absorbed because I've been painting my whole life. I just haven't really been showing it off because I fucking hate the art world and all the pretentious dickwads in it. And uh, I never needed the, uh, what's that called? I never needed the, uh, what's that called? When you need like someone's approval or, or not approval, but I don't, I just can't stand pe people who talk about art. It just drives me fucking nuts. I'd rather just, you did it. And then if, if, if it's good art, we'll appreciate it. We don't need to be explained. I think as soon as you have to explain something, you've lost me. You know what I'm saying? So I've been following a few people on Instagram and there's some really wicked talented people out there and and I, and I, but it's also too some of the things that are people are very popular does not mean it's good at all. Like I've seen some people with like a hundred thousand followers, two hundred thousand, and I'm looking at the stuff going, hey really like come on come on so it doesn't mean it's it's what i consider good but i'm super fucking judgmental i just try not to talk about it that's why I, this, this is kind of dangerous for me because i i might have up saying shit that people may not like but here's the thing when it comes to individual artists i absolutely would support them because you're trying and you're doing something different you're not just like sitting on your ass and watching the hockey game well not there's anything wrong with it but so i guess is i my issue is more with the people who are in the art world themselves who 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 are the arbiters of the access to the money i think that's what it comes down to like the dealers and stuff who are the deciders because they're connected to rich people who make the money and then that becomes what is the great art like I was like there's an exhibit exhibition at the AGO and I didn't go yet so it's hard for me to fully judge it I only saw little bits of it but there's some J Chinese woman I think who who did a bunch of fucking balls like balls everywhere you walk in a room and there's lots of balls and I'm like that that just makes me want to fucking just not show up if, if it is, I mean, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it's just a bunch of, you know, it's like a sensory experience. But that's gross. And I'm like, man, the whole AGO would put this huge exhibit on for just, ah, just, like, you might as well just do, play, watch a virtual reality game if that's what we're, we're talking about. Like, I want to see, I want to see talent. I want to see uh, passion and, 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 and something deeper that isn't decided by a bunch of black turtlenecks. See, you shouldn't ignore everything I say because I'm just full of shit. I just, I'm just yabbering at the mouth. Ugh. Yabbering, yabbering, yabbering. Oh, for those who don't partially, one of the reasons I have to keep talking is it helps my very, very strong. Ten I've got very, very bad tinnitus, and right now it's not so bad. I got a, I got a brain tumor right on my auditory nerve, on the right hand side. So I have permanent twenty four hours tinnitus, which they can't cut it out. And so. 
on an average day is just not fun. But every once in a while it kicks in so bad I'm I'm incapacitated. I can't I can't do anything. I can't think. I have to lie down and curl up like a big giant baby. And I, I have like a, one of the things that I've discovered over the past year or so because I've only had it since 2016. I've only been aware of it. I mean diagnosed. The tinnitus only started really kicking in in 2000, beginning of 2017. No, 2016, end of it. Uh, I forget what I'm saying. See, this is one of the things that it does. When it starts getting no loud, it, heart, it it affects my ability to think. Like literally, I, I get, forget what I'm talking about. Because it's, it's, it's exactly like someone screaming in your ear. Imagine if there's someone standing there just going, ah, right in your fucking ear. That's that's kind of why I swear a lot too because I'm just so frustrated all the time with hearing this, this fucking sound. It just doesn't stop. So what, what I'm trying to say is one of the things that I found has helped me a lot is painting and talking when I paint because I think it, it creates a distraction. Like right now, I'm only like I'm usually just semi aware of the things I'm saying because it just it gets it gets. Uh, it's uh yeah, it's just, it's just like a distraction. What if I uh do I have enough coffee? I've got more coffee. Okay, the nice thing about having this camera here is I can see on the screen what I'm painting. It'll be hard to show you because if I go to my desktop, this whole section here is actually the the view I can see, but right now it's got some crazy mirror effect. But that's where I can see my actual, see how down here you can see my painting? I've got that, but in a larger space. So I've become kind of addicted now because when I'm looking at it at this angle, I can only, it, there's like shine from the screen, which is distracting. So the colors, yeah, like I just, now I just noticed these ugly browns, maybe I just put in there, I should fix that. But like the wetness is shining and I can't quite see the full composition. Okay, so the overall thing I need to change about this painting. Uh, what should I do? It just feels so plain, doesn't it? <laughs> Feels so plain. <sighs> also, these these are meant to be branches, and they're they're lost. Oh, maybe I'll use one of my new brushes. Let's do that. Let's make a. a Maybe I have to make this green separate from the background green. Let's take this blue, this yellow. Let's do... I don't like that color that I used before. This is much more of a Van Gogh color. Oh shit, did I just drop that on there? Fart balls. That blue is much better than the one he did. <sighs> oh, that's kind of a good idea. I'm going to outline it. Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful.
Oh yeah. It's funny how you just sort of figure shit out as you do it. Yeah, my thing's getting loud now. This is getting loud. I'm not hopping it. I'm gonna try to fight it off now. It's now at about a seven and a half out of ten. Ten would be you need to be locked up in an insane asylum. Like ten would be pure torture that you would you'd go insane. And I've had some tens before. When I first didn't when I was first before I was diagnosed with the tumor. I did not know what was going on. I had this ring in my head all the time. And this was late 2016. And I had looked up tinnitus and all this kind of stuff. And I was kind of, you know, you know, I, I thought it would just go away one day. And it never did. It got louder and louder. And so what I used to do is I used to, I was having panic attacks every day, five, ten times a day, where I thought I was losing my mind. It was horrible. And I used to exercise myself to exhaustion just so I can have a moment of peace by falling asleep. <laughs> and me being the stubborn guy I am, I finally went to the doctor after about three or four weeks where I, I just couldn't take anymore. I knew, you know, something was just wrong because it didn't disappear. And so they had me do, I went to, got sent to an EMT, that's a, like an ear, nose and throat guy. Because apparently that's what you do. Then I went to, got an MRI and the first results came back and they said yes you have a tumor right there but the good news is we can probably cut it out with this thing called a gamma knife so i was i was uh had a meeting set up well they wanted to be sh wait no yeah then i saw the neural neural there's like one doctor in ontario he's like this top no no first i went to the gamma knife clinic which is, they sort of like, they don't cut it out. I think they use focused radiation to cut out. It's non-invasive surgery. Anyhow, the EMT said, yes, you're a good candidate to have it cut out. And I had, I even talked to the head of the Toronto, Toronto Western Hospital. He said, yes, you know what? You're going to get this. It'll get, you know, get it removed. You're going to be fine. It'll get rid of the tinnitus. And, you know, anyhow. So I went to the Gamma Knife Clinic and they said, well, we need to do another MRI with something we want to check. So I had another MRI. And by the way, fucking that was a horrible experience because, you know, it's claustrophobic, but I, I, I survived. <laughs> so I had another MRI and I remember being brought in the room and there was the, the surgeon, the neurosurgeon sat me down. And as soon as she sat me down... That was a bad moment in my life because I was so hopeful to have just a little bit of peace. Like fucking, I just needed a little break because it was nonstop. And she said, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. It's too fused with your, it's fused with your auditory nerve. Oh, and also I was going deaf in this year too. Like I've lost most hearing this year because of this fucking tumor. And tinnitus is caused because my ear is completely fine. What what, what happens? The mecha, the physio physiology of it is basically uh, um, what was I going to say? The physiology is oh, see, this is, I'm losing my. I can't think. What was I just saying? The physiology is oh yeah, the physiology is your brain. My brain is expecting to hear auditory signals, but when nothing arrives. My brain says, okay, well, then I'm going to create the sound for you because I'm not, I'm expecting some sound. And that's what the ringing, the frequency is. It's this very disturbing fucking frequency. So what happened next, I went to see the top neurologist in Canada who specializes in this type of tumor. And he said, yeah, like he tried to give me some medication that helps some people who suffer tinnitus, but it never worked. Uh, cause you can get tinnitus from different things. Like one of the most common ways to get tinnitus is if you're young and you listen to loud music, you know, you blow out your, your eardrum, but mine is different. Personal truth vision is what captures your art. So I was told there's nothing you can do with it. 
and that was a horror. I actually started crying. I started crying right in that doctor's office because I was like, I just, like, my favorite thing, honestly, in the world is quiet. I just like quiet. And I haven't had a moment of quiet in a few years now. I'm very proud of myself for, for, let's just say, holding my shit together for as long as I have. Because sometimes it's very hard. And it's it's something that you you can't like you can't you know you never know if you're talking to me, uh, but uh, I forget what I was saying. Yeah, and the, and the way it affects my thinking is is the worst part because it's it's just like if someone had a speaker right next to your ear and say, okay, let's calculate some math. You just can't concentrate because it's fucking loud, right? So I have a rating system. So 7 out of 10 is really fucking loud. It's kind of like you're at an airport next to an airplane and it's... <laughs> so I probably said this before, but so I like to paint now. Well, not like to paint now. I've always painted. But I have discovered that when I talk, it helps reduce it. And so there's a little bit of a danger to it because sometimes I'm talking and I don't really mean what I say. I might say some stuff that's offensive and it's just like... I'm just just trying to get by in the moment, you know. I'm just trying to get by. Like right now, I'm just trying to get by. I'm just trying to get by so that I can, uh, yeah, just trying to get by right now. Fuck. Let's try another one of these brushes over here. Okay. How do I? Oh, there's a bunch more. Holy shit! I missed. One. Okay, validation, affirmation. That's right. You are you serious? I don't know what that means. Would you agree art is contextual? Like, could a blank page ever be art? It would depend on the integrity of the artist. You're right, though. Who, who the fuck decides? And money drives that is for the most part fart balls. <laughs> so sorry, that's off. I hope you find relief. Yeah, I know. So far, the way it's going, I am never gonna find relief. So, but I I always remind myself how grateful I am. You know, I'm still very grateful for what I have in my life. There's people who have it much worse, much worse. And I am I do not like to complain, but I come across complaining a lot when I'm painting, and it's just a survival mechanism, to be honest. It's just a survival mechanism. I'm not like. I don't want to sound like a whiny fuck. Yeah, I've never known what art is. I don't know what art is. I have no answer. I just. I'm just so tired of the world that is it literally just run by people who have wealth and power. The frustrating for, for me is I grew up around people, some of the wealthiest and richest people in Canada. I, I knew personally there were friends of the family and people I went to high school with, but I was also mostly friends with my regular, quote, friends, like from public school. So I was I had a taste of both. So I know what it's like in that world, although I never I never personally was part of it. I was just exposed to it because of the people I know. And I was a I was an anti snob. I purposely didn't hang around with those with the super rich guys because I didn't want to be. I don't know. I didn't. What I'm trying to say. I just I didn't want to. Uh, didn't like these. Uh, Being genuine was always the most important thing. And there were a couple guys, actually, who I became... I was good friends with who just happened to be super rich, too. But when it comes to art and the art world, it is so true that it's owned by the super rich. And I would love to be able to do paintings that... Like, you know, my dream would be to be able to make some paintings. And I do a couple a year, they sell 100000 bucks each. 
So I could, I could, I would fucking be cr painting like crazy. And I'm not talking about it for the money. I just want to make enough money to, to pay off my mortgage and to have enough for food every month, you know. And and, you know, I haven't gone on a vacation. Like, actually, it's not true. I got went on vacation, but one of my best friends paid for it. I haven't gone on a vacation in over a decade. I haven't bought new clothes in years and years and years. I bought some new underwear and socks, but, you know, like I would love to be able to buy a new pair of jeans. But I got to, you know, so I just want to get like, by. And it's not like I haven't worked hard my whole life. I've busted my ass my whole life. So I have to use my life savings to do this. Quickly zapping through all my life savings so I can do this. I got you got no support. And I can't complain about it because I'm, uh, you know. Uh, it's pretty loud right now. Pretty fucking loud. Wait, someone say, wait. Oh. I can't remember. So, sorry, there's a delay in the. There's a delay in the texting. So, Ramona, when you said so much has happened since then. I don't even know. I don't, I'm not sure what you're referring to because uh, there's about a 10 second delay. So when you said that, I'm not. I'm already, I'm already not quite sure. Okay, so what the fuck should I do? No more coffee. I'm out of coffee. All right. So I still don't like this painting. This is a little bit better. This is still kind of blah. I like the outlines of these things a bit more. What should I do? How do I make this better? I feel like I need to block it off. Maybe make it dark? Oh, I don't know. The problem with this painting is the, there, there's no real sense of light. There's no sense of light. Huh. And that's the problem. Let's, like there looks like there's supposed to be some light here. If that's the case, I don't know. It's it's a weird painting. Where's those flat brushes? Oh, holy jeez. Yeah, let's just try some reds and browns. What if I just did swirly colors? What if I just did this? We gotta kill those ugly things that he designed. He designed these ugly black things. What if I did white? Let's just put. I was kind of thinking. There's a painter called Iskowitz, who is a great scam artist. <laughs> Iskowitz was this uh, painter, a Canadian guy, who said he was doing Canadian landscapes. Eh, bullshit. He got a grant from the Canadian government to fly over in a helicopter. And then as you look at his paintings, he says, oh, these are representation of the Canadian landscape. Bullshit, dude. You're just having some fun with some fucking, uh, having some fun with the fucking, uh, you got some free cash from the Canadian government, dude. And a bunch of arty farty fuckers thought you were doing something special and revolutionary. But I do like his abstract paintings a lot. In fact, he's one of my favorite abstract painters, Gershon Miskowitz. And he wasn't even that good of a painter. If you look at his other stuff, it's kind of hokey. But he, because he was a Jewish uh, Holocaust survivor, he got some extra credits there. I get to say that I'm Jewish, but it's just like, 
come on. Was, I, I thought it was hilarious. Like, if, even if you go to his Wikipedia page, he says, you know, these are these are absolutely represents. These are these are uh, what's it called? These are uh, yes. These these are. This is the Canadian landscape. <laughs> Fuck off. You're having some fun. And I, I just can't believe you got away with it. That's what I want to do. I want to do a bunch of fun shit that's fun to do. And then if people want to take it seriously, that's awesome. And you get paid tons of money for it. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. I love I love this stuff. Let me show you the desktop again. Front. No, top. Is this... The, wait, how do you do the... Desktop, right. Desktop. You go here and you type in... All right, buddy. I love this guy. Gershwin is good. G I R S H O N I S K O D R T Z. Gershwin is good. There he is. I love, love this guy. He looked like he had. He was enjoying his life. I actually really like something. Like for example, I really like this one. It's so small. Like I love these. I if I could get away with doing this, and people would buy this, this would be like my dream because this would be f so much fun to do. And I, I've done a ton of things like this. Let me actually show you what I'm talking about. I did some stuff when I was young. I would say let's go to my website. Druckmann. Oh shit! There it is. Oops. I didn't mean to click. Click gallery by subject matter. Let's go to abstract. <laughs> oh, I know why it's, it's it's probably zoomed in so big, so everything looks like it's okay. So I've done I've done tons of abstract ones. These are my Paradelia series. Uh, I gotta go back in time, probably back, back, back. Yeah, see. I was totally experimenting with this, these kinds of uh, simple stuff. You know how old this is? This is like uh, 1988. Gershwin. I was probably thinking about Gershwin when I was doing it. That. I just love it, man. I would love it. I love. I just need permission to do this. You know what it is? I need. I need. I need to to know that it's okay that I'm not. Because there's so much of this shit's already done. That's the problem. Even though I love it, uh, I don't know. Man, look at this fucking thing. That's why I, I almost like. I I just felt like compelled to do this one. I just couldn't. I I couldn't leave this one. As a direct copy, I just can't. I I, I don't know if you guys know the story of this painting. Oh fuck, is it ever loud? This painting. This painting. Okay, so I live in Toronto, and right around the corner from where I grew up, someone's house got broken into, and a painting was stolen. This painting, not literally physically this painting, but the painting that I based this on, and it was worth like two hundred thousand dollars. And I thought, hmm, why don't I paint it? There was one shitty photo, like, in the news article about it. And I'm going to paint it to steal it back. That was my idea. So I then spent about a week or two recreating it from the, the photograph I, that was on the internet to, to, till it got to this. And every time I look at it, I go, I just can't. That's, I can't do it. It's just the whole process was so painful because i don't like uh i am fully against copying things directly like not using your own skills and ability and and you know your own soul into a painting so that was that plus like i don't it was boring it was boring to have to copy someone else's work so it was sitting over here for the past since i did it and every time i look at it I go oh i hate you so much i have to i have to change it i have to make it my own so I finally just did it this morning. I finally just grabbed that thing and now I'm messing messing it up. And I don't know at what point is it now is it going to be an original 
me? And at what point is it still A.Y. Jackson's? And is it art? Dun, dun, dun. That's the question. Is it art? Is it art? I have to make it my own. It's getting, it's getting slightly better, slightly better. Okay, here's the here's the scary thing about this uh, tinnitus stuff, is that I it's I have a bit of amnesia when I'm talking. Part of it is when I get into a painting. You know, I, I go off in a different plane. Like, and sometimes I don't even know where I am. What I mean is something takes over me. I, very, very often when I'm into something, I'm, I'm almost like, um, do you remember being John Malkovich where you're inside John Malkovich's brain and you're watching what was happening? I have, ex my experience often when I'm painting is like that where I'm just watching this hand do the work. It's like, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just like an observer. It's like some... Uh, some entity has taken me over and is now is in control. And I just sit back and uh, watch the show. <laughs> and that feels like cheating because I feel like, wait, am I doing this? And I really want to work on some of my big paintings soon. I've got some big ones. I just need to make some money so I don't lose my house. Yeah, I think those kind of. Holy shit, stop it. Oh. Is it kind of like moss or something around here? <sighs> We're about an eight. We're about an eight. And this is where it starts not to get fun. Yeah, we're at, we're at the point where we're someone's screaming in my ear, and I don't like it. This is where it starts getting a little scary, because it's hard to... Whew, come on. Okay, keep talking. Talk, 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 talk. Blah, 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 blah. Talk, 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 talk. Talk, 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 talk. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. It's getting bad. Okay, I'm going to start doing some Shigali and Odile and Rodin patterns. Maybe that's what it needs. That's what it needs. It needs something like 
I need to bring some magic to this thing because this thing had no magic. That's the problem. It was a dead painting. It was dead. So let's go in and let's do my own thing. Fuck you if I'm. I'm just gonna put some sh stuff here. Who cares? I'm gonna bring some blues in. Blues and browns. These things. How much longer I can do this? <sighs> okay. Oh, you son of a bitch! That's what Arnold Schwarzenegger says in one of his movies. You son of a bitch! I'm just going to start doing some things. I really want to just do some abstract stuff and just f let let it flow out a bit. Wow. Oh, hi, Mom. My mom just joined. Hi, Mom. Just fighting off the old tennis. Fighting off the old tennis. The irony is, I didn't know my mom had tennis. My whole life, she never, never said anything about it. She's online right now. Hi, Mom. But right now, the tinnitus is pretty bad. I'm just trying to, like, get through the next little while. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to, like, take this... can't speak this is yeah I forget I was, I'm just not gonna talk I'm just gonna keep going You know what I might do? I might bring some Van Gogh love into this thing with yellows and oranges on top of these blue colors. That could be very interesting. Too goddamn loud. Too damn loud. Too damn loud. What is this color? Why is this so bright in here? I think it should be more of a less white color.
Let's bring in this one of these. Oh, all my new brushes are over here. I do kind of enjoy this kind of a painting where I'm, I'm just making it up. This is more, much more, see, this is much more enjoyable than when I was, uh, doing the copy. I gotta bring it to life a bit more. Why aren't you picking up? Okay. I'm trying to get this orange out of here and put it in here. Interesting work. Okay, well. Oh, I'm getting ringing in both ears. This happens occasionally. That is like a nightmare for me. I get ringing in both ears once in a while, and I'm like thinking, oh, fuck. See, I, I can handle one ear, but I don't think I can handle two. Because I can, I can somehow, sometimes I can plug my right ear and not have to, and like, you know, mask the sound and stuff. But if I, look, if I get both ears, I'm fucked. Sorry, Mom. My mom doesn't like when I swear. Okay. The if your brain is compensating for lack of signal, it, it helps you to be in an environment where silence... No! Silence is actually the worst. Silence makes it more pronounced what i have to do is i uh, the only thing that has ever has any help is white noise so i've got a bunch of white noise machines that I, I used to a while ago i had a white noise machine in every room of my house blasted up so it's like tv static that helps block it out um but uh yeah so the the worst thing is is quiet it amplifies it because it's the only sound now. Suddenly, all you hear is that. It's like I can't. I I I I I I, I went on a Titan's website, and you can you I can reproduce the frequency. It's a certain frequency. That's the problem. The problem is I can't escape it. If I if I was able to escape it, I would. That's that's the scary part. That's that's what creates the panic attacks. Is the fact that you can't go anywhere. It's inside your head. You can't leave. You can't run away from it. You can't avoid it. It's there. It's in your head. Imagine that. You cannot escape ever. Some people have the ability where they can, they can massage because, like, if you have, like, if you have tinnitus that, 
from damage, nerve damage, and, and there's other causes, you can actually get like minutes of peace by doing certain techniques where you sort of snap your head, you click like this, but that just that doesn't work for me. I have iPhone app or lax melodies. Oh yeah, I've done that. Trust me. I'm, I'm, I've got like, I have every melody app, white nose app. I've got it all. <laughs> it just doesn't work. It just, uh, honestly, this is the thing I need to do. I need to be able to paint and talk. That this is what works because I think it's it's a focus thing. I can even show you like right now like the <laughs> there's a oh, let me just see uh, where's my white noise yeah so I've got a section dedicated these are like after went through like about twenty white noise apps these are the ones I, I picked the best ones and one of them is relax melodies I think you said that yeah so relax here's relax melodies right there and this white noise and that white noise I've already gone through and tested all the different frequencies because there's white noise brown noise all the shit and that particular those particular apps have the frequency that that helps but it's just uh, nothing beats it when I'm in a zone so that's why I need to make a career of painting. I need this, this, this has to work for me because I need this. So I need some sort of fancy fucking, I need some fancy, uh, what are they, art critic. Ah, uh, you could probably figure out what I was going to say. It doesn't matter. Well, soon I'm going to set up e-commerce, so I'll be able to sell my paintings online. And also, I'm going to be able to sell prints. I'm very close to doing that. So, if anyone likes my stuff, they can definitely help. Well... I want them to buy it because they want it, not just because they're helping out some idiot. But uh, yeah, soon I'm gonna have an online store. Make this better. So I'm going to try to get some Rodan action. Those stupid shadows that what's his face made because they were dumb. Sorry, sorry there, A. Y. Jackson. But you, stupid. No one should like it. it silly. Trying to get that down a bit. Purple's a bit too. Purple.
It's a little bit better. It's not it's not really great yet. I think uh I think that uh Needs a bit more love. Still, still not where I want it to be. Still not where I want it to be. I don't know why that would be so bright there. It just feels a little weird. Maybe. Bit more beautiful there. This is a bit more nice These colors here. Yeah, I think it needed some layering. It needed some it's something. It's coming. It's slowly coming together. I think maybe a little bit of a for the uh, is this yeah
Well, I think I'm gonna stop. It's a good thing. It, uh, it was a good start. It's a good start of some kind. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. I'll fix this up after. I was hoping you'd darken the sky with some crazy storm. That's why you're the artist. The light is amazing. Brought out the form of you. Yeah, I'm still working on this shit. Fuck. I think I just stopped though. My uh, tennis is kind of freaking me out a little bit. It's like uh, son of a bitch. It's kind of uh, pissing me off. Pissing me off, and a little longer. Pissing me off, pissing me off, pissing me off. Singing the BTO song. Gets a little longer. Pissing me off. I'm, but I'm adding my own words. Oh. Come on, you little son of a bitch.
I know what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of light on the horizon. Yeah, and then that'll just add a little bit of something to hide this little stupid thing. There we go. Let's just add a little bit of that. And I'll add a little bit of that over here too. Rawr. Maybe here too. Come on, yellow. Well, doing that, maybe I'll add some yellow over here too. Okay, well, That's kind of interesting, that darkness there. I kind of like that. Okay, maybe, oops, maybe stop there, maybe not.
Okay. Okay, well, all right. Let's just stop there. Not sure if I'm happy with them. Um, Not sure if I'm happy with it. Well, yeah, I'm gonna take a break. Taking a break. Hey, anyway, thanks for watching. I might just do that abstract painting scene after I eat some food. Kind of was thinking, simple color. Simple color, simple color, like Rothko simple. That's what I'm thinking. Anyhow, bye.